appears we are following Lake Vermi for a little while. I have to just double check that I'm heading in the right direction. And it seems I am. <laughs> Certainly stay there, peasant. Isn't this just beautiful? I need to come and spend a bit of time down here and have a proper look at uh, at all this stuff. Time, 7.48. Beautiful. Eighty point seven miles into the journey.
beautiful. I think we're veering away from the lake now. No, we're back. Thought we were veering away from it. We're not. We went slightly away and now we're back. Dinas Madhwi, 10 miles. Oh, bloody hell.
Bloody hell. Wowza. I think this is Hellfire Pass. It was never my intention to come down this night, but hey ho. It's all about the adventure. Absolutely wonderful. go this is uh, just coming down from Dinas now that sunset oh, a little bit after sunset twilight Beautiful. 
beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Just a joy to see. Well, journey's almost over and <laughs> been uh, somewhat more exciting than one anticipated it was going to be. Probably just coming down into Barnworth shortly. Just along the Mordak River on the left into the estuary shortly, Barmouth Bridge. That's been a, <laughs> a lot more exciting than I anticipated this evening's little uh, trip. Yeah, I hadn't, uh, hadn't anticipated going quite as remote as I ended up going. But <laughs> this bike is just awesome. So, uh, there's Barmouth Bridge over there probably can't see it. It was illuminated a few weeks ago when they were working on it. But uh, yeah. Unfortunately it's not illuminated tonight. So hopefully we'll see it as we go through or see something anyway. Yeah so about another 10 minutes and I'll be at my destination. Just gonna get through the town and out again. I'll roll the camera over, I've got enough battery life and memory card to see us to the end. Oh, just up. The more I ride this bike, the more I love it. Just, just waft, waft is the only word I can find the way, the way it sailed along. Wafts along, effortlessly. Came up and over the mountains earlier. No real, no real times with it at all, just did it. Just, uh, it's just, I can't find words to describe how great it is really. So we're coming to the, into Barmouth now. You always know you're here when you see the, uh, the clock tower. I believe this was John Williams' house, the composer of, uh, the theme to the deer hunter and uh, other stuff. I'm almost certain that, we, that he owned that property. So there's Barmouth Bridge over there. I don't know whether the camera's going to pick it up. And we're just uh, meandering into the town now. About four hours this journey. Just over. This is my second home this town. I'm here at least at least twenty-six times a year. Every other weekend I'm here. And uh well there's a good reason why I'm not. And it's just, uh, just love the place. It's a perfect little town. So, and we'll see the, uh, the last inn will come up on our right in a minute. Love the last inn. There's the harbour down here on our left. And up, down into the town we come. Wonderful. Here's the, the last inn. Absolutely love that pub. And then up the high street. 
or Church Street I think it's called uh, a few of us enjoying their uh, a night on the town good for them I think it's been about three years since I was last down here on on, uh, on the bike and the last one I came down on was the uh, Triumph Tiger Explorer and uh, me and Brian did a Snowdonia weekend I think that was uh, almost certain that was 2019 I know it was before that bonkers pandemic bike so it might have been might have been a year later not sure anyway we're nearly there now stunning church up there the arousal cat famous Barmouth landmark cracking chip fish chip shop and the royal another good pub I've uh, been in there often Yeah, the Arousal Calf, some a lot of Midlanders will know that, it was the Carousel Calf, but the sea uh, became dislodged, uh, and it was sort of hanging down, so it became known to many as the Arousal Calf, because the sea was pretty much not there, so, and I think it stayed that way for years. Uh, uh, yeah, little... Uh, these little idiosyncrasies of the of place like and this is the road that heads up to Harley Town and we'll pass the uh, castle oh I've got the name of it but it's a hotel but if you look from above it looks like the uh, uh, looks like you're looking down the barrels of a shotgun Tigreg Castle Hotel I think it's called Something like that on the left. So, if you ever get yourself on Google Maps, have a look at it from above. And uh, looks like a shotgun. And I think it was deliberately built that way. There it is, on the left, just of us there. And now we're coming up to the coast. Coast on the left now. So we carry on this road, it'll take us to Harlick. So, um, I'm going to wrap up the video now, I think. Uh, if you did stay the, the course, I hope you enjoyed it. It was a bit, it was not what I anticipated it was going to be. And it was a little bit, for me, tense in places. I didn't plan to be quite so remote. At, uh, as it was starting to get dark but uh, it all adds to the adventure doesn't it no, and uh, no harm done so I hope you enjoyed the video um, there's going to be a few more coming from this weekend um, so again as always if you have watched uh, thank you for watching um, please feel free to, to leave a like if you enjoyed it subscribe that would be brilliant comment away love comments um, and, uh, and tell me what you think and uh, let's have a, get a conversation going so as always thank you for um, honouring me with watching the videos and uh, I look forward to seeing you again very soon oh look at the sea down there very soon for another video ah, see you take care see you, see you soon